Hi, welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to talk simple and plain how to access the dark web. Hey, that's pretty good. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. So getting to the dark web is actually a lot easier than you might think. Navigating, it is a different story. Here's a quick tutorial on how to safely access the dark web and tips on how to use it. So download the Tor browser. Many who access the dark web do so by first connecting to it with, a, with the Tor, which is an acronym for the Onion Router browser. Developed by the US Navy and made public in 2004, Tor is the most popular dark web browser because of its unrivaled security and privacy. The Tor browser differs from others such as Chrome or Firefox because it does not take the most direct route from your device to the web. Instead, Tor uses a random set of encrypted servers known as nodes to keep users and sites anonymous. To download this browser, go to torproject.org. Once you download Tor, you can connect to the dark web. However, Tor won't find any sites on the dark web for you. You'll actually have to find the dark websites that you want to search on your own. So use a dark web search engine sites on the dark web don't come with easy to remember urls and maybe and many disappear suddenly a dark web search engine can help you surf sites on the tor browser a search engine is not the same as a browser while browser lets you connect to the internet a search engine is what you use to search the internet once you get on it while you use the tor to access the dark web you'll need to use a search engine to find its sites once you get on it some of the more popular dark web search engines include and peter put this on the screen we have DuckDuckGo. uh DuckDuckGo's main, main selling point is privacy features because it does not track users people can use it to, to browse the dark web anonymously we have torch this search engine also doesn't track users torch claims to be the oldest search engine on the dark web we have amia.fi which is this search engine lets you seek the links to the dark websites using a traditional browser like chrome firefox and microsoft edge to access those sites you'll still need the tor browser though we have dark search and dark search claims to index tour pages each day surfing the web 24 hours a day seven days a week know how dark web websites work websites on the dark web set themselves apart with a unique um, domain name which is dot onion websites accessible through the tour browser and in this domain name just as sites reach through the traditional browsers such as chrome and firefox and with the domains like dot com dot org dot gov and dot edu the names of the dark web pages are unusual too and can make it difficult to find them in Instead of, instead of site names that are easy to memorize like CNN.com or Google.com, Tor sites are made up of a random series of numbers and letters. For instance, the website of the Torch dark web browser is, and Peter put that on the screen, while the Tor website for DuckDuckGo is, Peter put that on the screen. So we have the surface web URL, CNN.com, Facebook.com, DuckDuckGo.com, and then the dark web uh, URL, Peter put that on the screen. It is a doozy. Kill me, kill me, look. Got me speaking a different language. And then we have the Facebook. And then we have the duck duck. <laughs> Another challenge of finding dark web websites, they don't often last. Many sites go defunct fairly quickly, either because they are shut down for illegal activity, their founders close shop after getting bored, or they move to a new address and name to help avoid detection. So tips for navigating the dark, the dark web. Just like when navigating the surface web, the dark web has similar risks that should be taken into account when protecting your personal information. Consider using a VPN. For an added layer of protection, consider purchasing a virtual private network or VPN, which is a VPN provides you with the anonymity by creating a private network from a public internet connection. VPNs let you mask your location and prevent online breadcrumbs from leading back to you. This stops online criminals from eavesdropping on your Wi-Fi connection and intercepting any data that you might be sending or receiving. Be cautious. Again, be careful when you when browsing the dark web. Even though the dark web is touted as being private and secure, there are still risks involved. Just like the surface web, the dark web is riddled with scams, phishing sites, and malware designed to exploit new users who may not know any better. Even if you're visiting this corner of the internet for legitimate reasons, it's easy to stumble upon some bad places, okay? Here are some extra precautions to follow. Don't divulge any of your personal information because there's very little use of the SSL certificates on the dark web. You won't be able to tell if a website is genuine or not. Be wary of publicly posted online URLs. If you can't get a recommendation from someone you trust, seek multiple sources to verify the URL. Avoid clicking on unknown links. Offensive material may be just a click away. Don't do anything online that you wouldn't do in real life. The dark web may be a haven for criminal activity, but law enforcement and government agencies may still be watching every move. 
uh, explore the dark web at your own discretion. If you plan on venturing into the dark side of the internet, take added security measures to ensure private information like your passwords, bank details, and credit card numbers are protected. Powerful antivirus software with advanced dark web monitoring. Features like uh, Norton 360 Deluxe can help keep your private, you know, keep you, keep your internet browsing private and secure. So here are some FAQs about the dark web. So still curious about the dark web, right? Here's some little dessert nuggets, okay? How big is the dark web? The dark web is quite small when compared with the internet as a whole. No one truly knows the size of the dark web, but some estimate that it accounts for just 5% of the total internet. Next question, when was the dark web created? Many cite March 20, 2000 as the birth date of the dark web. That's when Freenet, which is a peer-to-peer -peer sharing network focused on anonymity, was launched. Who created the dark web? Surprisingly, the US government is usually cited as the creator of the dark web to allow spies to communicate with each other anonymously. <laughs> so, what do you think about my method? Do you have a better method? Do you have a better opinion? Please let me know in the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. Please share the content. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.